All right, welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Boy, oh boy. This is taken from the Bahamas Press. And, you know, I would think that the Bahamas Press would have had a more professional headline. But this seems like just any vlogger <laughs> with their unprofessionalism, uh, if there is such a word. The headline says, Bisexual Jamaican Gal Sentenced to 42 years for killing her lesbian lover so in other words a jamaican female who is bisexual was living in the bahamas and had a female partner that she ended up killing and now they have given her 42 years to serve in the bahamas nassau a Supreme Court has sentenced a bisexual Jamaican woman to 42 years in prison for the murder of her gay lover. Nadisha Beckford, who is 34 years old, who is in the country on a spousal permit, stabbed Lakeisha McCray multiple times after an argument in the parking lot of the Mayfair Hotel on February 20th of 2021. McKay died at the hospital two days after of sharp force injuries to the head, neck, and torso, which were caused by a sharp weapon consistent with the use of a knife. She was so enraged. They got into an argument, right, in the parking lot of a hotel, and she was so enraged that she ended up stabbing this woman in her neck, in her head, in her torso, and multiple stabs all over her and ended up killing her subsequently in handing down her sentence justice renee mckay i find that a sent this is what the uh, justice renee mckay says now the victim's name is mckay m-a-c-k-e-y and this judge name is mckay m-c-k-a-y so there's no relation is a completely different spelling of the last name i find that the sentence of imprisonment is appropriate for the conviction of murder such sentence automatically encompasses all four of the classical principles of sentencing i have taken judicial notice of the prevalence of murder in this court and more particularly the circumstances of this incident accordingly I find that an appropriate sentence for the convicts conviction for the offense of murder is 42 years which shall take effect from the date of conviction which is the 28th of June 2022 less 14 and 15 months and 27 days which she spent on remand. Although Beckford claimed that she loved McKay, she didn't seek any medical help for her after she stabbed her up in that manner. Jury, the juror, or jurors, the jury pool, they actually heard a recorded phone conversation between Beckford, the one who stabbed McKay up, and a friend when she said, call me when she effing dead. She said, call me when she fucking dead. I saw the video. Don't know where the video is now. I thought it was someone acting on social media, so I didn't save it. Somebody was speaking to her and they were saying, hey, the girl where you stab up, she dead, you know? Um, she don't look like she gonna make it, you know? She look like she gonna dead. That's what the person said or something like that. And... The person was telling her like you got to turn yourself in they're looking for you and she was like under my fault i she oh she run up and she get done up and something like that don't run up if you don't want to get done up um call me when she fucking dead so there was a whole lot of arrogance to it right it wasn't remorseful it wasn't oh my god i was defending myself i didn't mean to kill her she dead i'm so sorry she actually said i am not one bit sorry Citing the prevalence of murder in the country and the circumstances of the crime, Justice McKay gave Beckford 42 years 
In other words, citing the prevalence of murders in the country. I don't know if the judge is saying that the murder rate in the Bahamas is starting to climb and she don't like it. So it's harsh punishment for anybody that comes into her court. And this is their, um, what they are accused of. So she's going to lick you hard from your coming to our court. Now let's talk about how this bisexual Jamaican woman ended up in the Bahamas. You notice where it says she was there on a spousal visa. Hmm. So I went and I looked this up. I said spousal visa, but it says she's with a woman. Hmm. Well, what ended up happening seems like was non Bahamians who are married to Bahamian nationals. What is a spousal permit and who can get one? This is what I looked up and this is what I got. A spousal permit and who can get one? Non Bahamians who are married to Bahamian nationals can get one. They may be eligible, eligible for a resident or spouse permit. This permit allows spouses of Bahamians to legally live and work in the Bahamas, provided that they live with their Bahamian spouse and have been married for less than five years at the time of the application. It is said that she is married, but she did not want her bisexual status made known to her husband, Bahamian husband, that she was married to. The lover of hers, female, fell so much into her, I wouldn't say love, fell so much in love, fell so much into her, that she decided, listen, I want you for all for myself. So, and I'm tired of this back and forth and hotel room and sneak around stuff. Um, I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell him because she knows him. I'm going to tell him that we've been together and you know, I, I want to be with you. And that's where arguments started. See? So obviously a female cannot get another female because I went and looked that up too. I said, well, maybe in the Bahamas, a female can get another female or a man can get a next man, you know, gay, bisexual, um, LGBTQ spectrum can get papers for their significant other in the Bahamas being of the same sex. And it clearly says recognition of same sex relationships in the Bahamas, same sex marriages and civil unions are not legal in the Bahamas. LGBT rights groups never challenged the country's marriage laws and the Bahamas Marriage Act states that a Bahamian marriage is composed of a man and a woman legal since 1991 age of consent is given gender identity um, recognition of relationship no recognition given uh, LGBT people are allowed to serve in their military but they are not allowed to marry and then file for a spouse to come live with them that kind of stuff so I looked it up just to make sure that you know what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing is accurate and it is so her spouse wanted to let her her side chick wanted to let her man know now mind you she's not Bahamian she's Jamaican she's in the Bahamas because she bamboozled a man made him think he was getting a wife this Bahamian man thought he was getting a wife what he was getting was a woman that wanted to be in the Bahamas you know, escape Jamaica car things not too good right there for her. And she went to the Bahamas and she can live and work there. He got her her permit. She's good there, uh, immigration wise. And then of course, her other side where she is into females, but her husband doesn't know, comes into play. So she develops a relationship with a woman while having a husband. All that was about to blow up and she killed the girl. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think. I have this saying, but it's not my saying. It's a saying that's been around forever. Oh, what tangled web we weave. 
when first we practice to deceive. When you tell one lie, you're going to always have to remember how you told that one lie in case somebody call you out and say, whoa, 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 that's not what you said before. Matter of fact, I have you on video saying something different. So how come you're saying this today? You're going to always have to be paranoid. You're going to always have to get that story straight. You always go off and it's hard to remember when it's a lie. But when you're telling the truth, the truth is just the truth. And you're not going to remember the truth any other way other than what it was. In order to tell a lie, you have to know the truth, remember the truth, and then twist the truth. So you will always have to remember which way you did twist the truth for bring it come back to look good and all that. Too much. Alright, so the end of the moral of the story, at the end of this story is, just tell truth and done. Right? You're gay, you're gay. Don't go marrying people pretending that you're in love with them just so they can get you places then you go there to be with someone else that's called deception people get killed over things like that anyways not saying it's right to kill somebody because of that but not everybody take them kind of something there the same way hmm someone said another jamaican female what do you expect ah oh boy here we go again Anyways, leave your comments in the comment section below and I'll catch you on the next video. It's SoFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.